there folks, welcome you all to this very short, sweet and cheap vlog of mine done on the telephone machine. Um, I've been absolutely rammed, I've mentioned it in the videos that I've been putting up and it was only about four weeks ago that I put a video up and I said how awful I had been feeling, I'd been ill and I was borderline like, oh it was maybe flu, not a cold. <laughs> but I tell you, after this week, uh, which was definitely flu, um, I, so anyway, the long and the short of it is, this is why we've got a little bit of a beard going in here, people, because I was so sore <laughs> and my skin was so sensitive when I was uh, going through it all that I just didn't want to shave because I wet shave. So anyway, I've now grown quite attached to it. <laughs> So the stone cold Steve Austin beard is back and it's only that shape because I don't grow very much on the sides. It takes a while for it to come in, there you are. So anyway, all that aside, it's paid off slightly for the channel because as you well know, anyone who follows the channel, I do the gym most evenings and I've not been able to go at all last week, it was just, oh, this week. It was just absolutely no way I was going to be doing that. So when I finished work, what I was doing was I was going straight into recording the Path of Exile synthesis videos and I managed to get a couple of Kingdom of Amalur in but and there'll be another one of those to come uh, well there'll be more of it to come but I have recorded another one which is ready to publish I'll publish it over the weekend but I have rammed Path of Exile synthesis for two reasons one is that it's a brand new DLC obviously or update so I wanted to make the most of this week as it's just been released and <sighs> I wanted to get my character back, well, I wanted to get my new character to the point where I was with my old character so that things start being a bit fresher for me. To be fair, it is kind of fresh anyway because I'm doing it as a ranger rather than a uh, duelist. And I have to say, I've absolutely loved doing the, the, the ranger. Uh, using the bow and all the moves that come with it has been absolutely brilliant. It took a little while for me to get into finding the moves that really made me go wow, but now I've got a move on every button. All, all eight moves I've got, I can't, you know, I just want to use them all. And you'll see what I mean. I've posted up at this point, I've just, I think at three quarters of an hour ago, part eight just went up and I've recorded up to part 16. <laughs> So you've got another eight episodes to come. Uh, all the way up to part 12 is already uploaded and I've got another four episodes to upload to take us to 16. So I've got really far and I've got to act three. So we've got really far. You're going to get all of that. I'm going to give you two a day right up until we get to 16. I'll probably record some more as well. So I'm going to change hands here because my arm's killing me, people. So yes, yeah, so you've got loads of that to come and... I'll try and get some more. I'm not going to promise a huge amount of Kingdoms of Amalur right now, but don't worry, I will be doing loads more of it. Uh, it's just I wanted to make the most of the Path of Exile. For, from a channel perspective, it makes more sense for me to ram it on Path of Exile Synthesis because it's the new version of the game. And the other reason is I'm really enjoying it. Not that I'm not enjoying Kingdoms of Amalur, but Path of Exile's fresh for me as a game and I've just got thoroughly into it. I think with spending all that time on it this week, I've got even more into it. So, you know, I'm absolutely loving playing it. So I don't, I don't want to force myself to go into Kingdoms of Amalur just to, you know, appease, because I won't, if I don't enjoy it, you won't get the best out of me, people. So, but I, I, I will get back to Kingdoms of Amalur, I promise, all right? You've got another episode to come this weekend. I'll try and record more Kingdoms of Amalur at some point next week. And I'll definitely be recording some more Path of Exile to get us back to, to where we were. That said, the part that I've just posted up, I'm going to say this before I forget, The it, it, I was very, very particular about the fact that I wanted to give... This is a free-to-play game, Path of Exile, and the reason it's free-to-play is because they hope that people will buy some of the extras that come along with the game, the microtransactions, the things that you can purchase in the game. None of these things that I'm aware of will give you any advantage in actually... You know, they don't give you extra damage or any of that sort of stuff. So there's no advantage to the game so far as it's all visual stuff. It's all stuff that looks better or it's uh, that you can get extra tabs on your inventory, your state, your, your stash area, stuff like that. So, I, oh, actually, that's a thought. I didn't check if there was something that gave you more backpack space, but that would really help. <laughs> I don't think there is. There is more stash tabs, though. So anyway, I made the decision to purchase... Purchase? One of the uh, the packs that you get, it was about twenty three ninety nine that I bought. I bought the Sunstone 
starter, well, it's not a starter pack, it's just called the Sunstone pack, I think. And it comes with a portal effect. So when you do your portals in and out of, yeah, using your portal scrolls, it, it does a sun, it's, it's almost like, it looks like an eclipse almost. So it comes with that, it comes with a, a, a sun glow for your weapon, and it comes with a frame, and it came with 250 points to spend on another item and I chose a pet pal. If you want to know what I did with all of that and what pet pal I bought and how it all looks, then go and just watch the beginning of that part eight. At the very beginning of that part eight, I do a quick five, 10 minutes of, here's how I bought it and here's what I bought and here's what I did with the points that came with that pack. And I'm really pleased that I did. I think this game did, it, honestly to God, even at this point now with the amount of hours that I've put in, even if I've done half the amount of these those hours, I, I I should really have given them some money because they've given me a lot of playtime already and I'm only scratching the surface of this game. So I think it's only fair that I made an effort to support them in some way. And I, to be honest, I wasn't. The only thing I was kind of itching for a little bit was maybe the pet pal to run around with. And it was only when I got stuck into the points, uh, buying the points, that I thought, you know what, I'm going to give them a bit more because I'm getting so much out of this game. And it was twenty three ninety nine. That's like half the price of a full game these days. And if that game was a, if you had to buy that game, it would be fifty quid without any shadow of a doubt. So you know, I don't think twenty three ninety nine is a lot of money by any stretch of the imagination to to pay just to buy a pack to support the game. You can buy. A gazillion different things in in that micro microtransactions thing. They've even got a pack that goes up to two hundred pounds, which is like the price of a console. <laughs> but it's um, you know the amount of stuff in that pack is just outrageous. And if you're going to spend, I mean, you will spend hundreds of hours in this game if you play everything in it. And it's something you can really cream and milk. You can play all the different what six seven classes or whatever are in there. So yeah. Um, anyway, I just wanted to push that out there because I think it's important that anyone who gets it for the PS4 supports it in some way. Anyone who's already playing it and hasn't paid anything out yet, make an effort, even if it's only for the three ninety nine pack or the seven ninety nine pack, just to get yourself some points, uh, just to support it. Um, I think I think it's good that we do that for these sorts of games that come out because you know. It's free pleasure, people. Just It's almost like the donate button on the interwebs, you know. So try and do that if you can. I know everyone's not got the money and it's always hard to pay, you know. But um, if you can, dip out a little bit for the game. Then I suggest, in my professional opinion, that you do that. And uh, anything else to say on the front of that particular game? Oh, I put a... I put a, a question up on the... If you go to the community tab on the channel i've put a question up for anyone who's buying it on ps4 what class your gut is telling you to go as um i will actually just to say if you haven't seen that announcement and you haven't seen anything on tinterwebs and you don't know when it's out for the ps4 it is out for the ps4 on the 26th of march so you've only got what 10 11 days and it'll be out unlike the first message you put up which said the 28th of march it's not it's the 26th of march you've only got 10 11 days to wait so it's nearly here people so if you go to the community tab you can put your vote down as to which character class you're going to go there's uh, there was enough i couldn't create enough <laughs> i was one short so one of them is uh duelist and a duelist or templar and the rest are all individual so go and make your votes there if you want to take part in that it's just interesting to see what people are going to go change arms again and I couldn't be bothered getting the standout people. That's how awful I felt. <laughs> I look terrible. Jesus Christ. Not seen much daylight this week at all. I always I always look and feel terrible when I've not been able to do the gym. Like, I love getting my exercise in, guys. You know. So there you are. I don't think there's anything else to tell you about. I just want to talk about what I've been recording this week, what I've been getting on with. Sekiro will be coming at the tail end of next week. It's 22nd, I think. And I have got a joystick Aaron coming down to see me. <laughs> uh, I've got my son coming to see me for four days, I think it is. So he will be arriving when the game is arriving. And I, the plan is at this point that we will we will do recordings of that game with us both on mic and we'll both chat while we all we both take turns on Sekiro. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I've not seen him in, a, in ages. I mean, we talk every day on, on the text machine, but I haven't physically seen him in ages. So it's gonna be really nice to spend some time with him. He's all grown up now, people. He's 26, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's got a life of his own. 
But uh, I'm really enjoying playing that game with them because it's going to be painful and we can take turns. It's good with a game like that where you can sort of hand the controller over from time to time. So we've got that going on next week. Obviously, Days Gone is a month away yet, so we'll not get excited about that yet. Um, and there you are. So I will, uh, until Sekiro arrives, it will still all be about Path of Exile and some more Kingdoms of Amalur if I can squeeze it in. I haven't forgotten about Resident Evil 2. I really want to finish that game, but it's just, I've got so soaked up in, in Path of Exile and Kingdoms of Amalur that I just haven't allowed myself the time to do it. But I have still got it in my head that I want to finish that game. So there you are. I think that is all I had for you. Um, I just didn't want to go through a Friday without saying, I, mean, I actually didn't, <laughs> I nearly didn't do a vlog at all because I was looking for info this week on games and there really wasn't anything to talk about of any great, I was looking for my beer there, people, I went totally the wrong way. <laughs> there really wasn't anything to talk about, the head's gone off my beer now. Cheers everybody, flagons up to you all. Hey, it's the lamest beard you'll ever come across. <laughs> Just looks like a goatee because it's so thin at the side. Oh, that's good people. Cheers to you all, and I know it looks flat, but it's not, it's really fizzy actually. It's a stellar artois. One of the finest beers of them all. I actually, my favourite beer is that is probably going to shock a lot of people. But my favourite beer is Miller, and yes, that is a <laughs> that is a Christmas thing. That, but I haven't found anything else that kind of. I, I hate that door being bare, and I, can't, I haven't found anything else yet that I can put on it. Um, so that's why it uh, it still hangs there. My favourite beer is bottles of Miller, ice cold bottles of Miller, and. I used to drink them for fun when I was up in Scotland because they're everywhere. And I cannot find Miller in England anywhere. <laughs> it's like, what what's that about? Was there some major vote in England that they said, no, we're not buying Miller. Off with you. Because <laughs> I do love an ice cold bottle of Miller, but I just cannot buy them here. So I tend to stick with the flagons of, of Stella at the moment. So there you are. There's a side story for you people. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this very small tiny weeny phone vlog of mine. I'm sorry if I've been all choked up and I will see you in the next one folks. Take it easy. Bye.